In this video, we'll go over downloading bank transactions and creating and matching them. This will make bank reconciliation easier as we are downloading bank transactions that cleared and the system automatically matches them to transactions in Simplify. You can download bank transactions by going to the Banks tab, Bank Center, and assuming you have a bank account, go to Take Actions, Bank Download, Connect. Select your bank, click continue, and then log in. If you do not have a bank account, simply click on add new bank account, and I'll link a video in the description below that goes over adding a new bank. Once you have your bank account connected, then you'll see this icon right next to the bank account name, showing that you can download bank transactions. If you go to Take Actions, Bank Download, you can download transactions, view them, or disconnect the bank. To download transactions, simply click on that option and then select the time period and start download. So I have a property, 301 Main Street. I have three expenses. Gardener for twenty eight twenty five. We can see that ABC Gardening is tied to this. Next is a gas expense for nineteen dollars and twelve cents. And Exxon Mobil is the vendor tied to it, and I already paid the vendor, which is why we see that I check marked vendor payment done. And last, we have office supplies for $32.66. And we can see the vendor name is Target. And again, I already paid the vendor, which is why we are seeing it is checked marked here. So keep those transactions in mind because they'll come up soon. So this is what it looks like when you have downloaded bank transactions. You can get to this page by going to the Banks tab, Download Bank Transactions. You can select the bank account from the drop-down. You can view transactions for review in Simplify them or ones that you excluded. If you recorded transactions in Simplify them and you downloaded them from your bank, then the system will automatically match the transactions for you. For example, I have $19.12 for the gas expense we have on the property worksheet. The vendor name is ExxonMobil, and I already paid the vendor, which is why it's a 100% match. I'll click on one match found, and when you see four stars, that means that the transaction name, amount, and date was matched with what was in Simplify to the downloaded bank transaction. You can click on view to view the vendor payment and add notes, map to match. If you see multiple matches, then you can bulk map by checking each one and clicking on bulk mapping. Okay, so Last, we have this transaction for $28.25. It says not found. So there was no transaction found in Simplify. Em. And let's say you forgot to add a vendor payment in Simplify, em, but you were reminded of it because you see the transaction here. You can simply add the vendor payment to the vendor's balance from this page. Simply click on create and map. You can create and map bank transfers, owner draws, and vendor payments from this page. I'll say that this was for ABC Gardening. If you don't see a vendor listed, you need to add the vendor by going to the Vendors tab, Vendor Center, and clicking on Add Vendor. Next, we can see that we are going to pay ABC Gardening for $28.25 and it's going to be allocated to the expense row 
on 301 Main Street because we mapped the vendor earlier to this expense row. If you did not have an expense on the property worksheet for this vendor, simply click on Add Expense Transaction to add it. Now I'm just going to click Save. Now we don't have any more transactions to, to review. Let's go to In Simplify'em. So now we can see the match transactions in Simplify'em.